tax always sounds boring but the problem is it is strongly associated with e-commerce business and you just cannot ignore it so sellers have to set up tax on their store and interestingly most of them are confused about how to set it up properly and here comes ecom clips for you hello shopify seller this is tashdit from ecom clips today we'll show you how you can set up sales tax for your shopify store in the easiest way possible so let's get started <laughs> First of all, I will deliver two important things to you about the setting. The first one is how sales tax works with Shopify. And the second one is how to set up sales tax in your Shopify store. You have to take a clear concept of the sales tax. A sales tax is consumption tax imposed by the government on the sales of goods and services. A conventional sales tax is levied at the point of sale collected by the retailer and passed on to the government. We got a lot of inquiries on how Shopify deals with sales tax. Shopify is not like Amazon, Walmart, Etsy or any other e-commerce marketplace where you can just hand over the responsibilities to them to collect the permit tax on a different states. If you are selling on Shopify, every sales that goes through Shopify is your responsibility to collect and remit sales tax. Shopify will not turn on these settings automatically, so you have to turn them on automatically. Now, let's talk about how to turn on these settings. Let's elaborate the things sequentially. Don't skip any information for better understanding. The first thing is to enter the places you want to Shopify to collect sales tax. So go to the settings and then taxes and duties. Here you can find all the available countries and regions. Then you just need to enter the sales tax license and then the state. Sometimes it's ask you which way of sourcing you want. The second thing is if you go back out of the United States, then you have to follow step two. You have to go to the setting and then taxes and duties tab. Scroll down and below all the different countries, you can see a box that says decide how tax is charged. Some states charge shipping, some states not. So you would need to check this box. Shopify will calculate tax on shipping. And then for the states that you know are not taxing shipping, you need to go in and add a tax override for shipping in that specific state. The third thing is that you want to make sure all the taxable products are collecting sales tax. So to do this, you need to go your products and go to the each product. You need to edit each variant also if you have products variations. For this, you have to find a box that says charge tax on this product or variant. You must check for the products that are taxable. Some products are not taxable. For example, gift cards. Those are not taxable. So you would not check the box for those products. Then in the fourth stage, you have to add all your locations from where the fulfillments are going through. So the warehouse that is fulfilling the orders that you are sold through your Shopify store. So you need to go to the settings and then locations and all of those. The reason that is important for sales tax is that some states are origin sourcing, some states are destination sourcing. Depending on where the goods are shipped from, if it's an interstate transaction, meaning if it's shipped from the state to a customer in the same state, versus shift from one state to another state. The rates are very different and where to look for those rates are also different. So it's important to put the location of your warehouse there. The last thing is exempt customers. If you sell to exempt entities or if you sell like wholesalers that are going to use your product for resale, then those all the legitimate reasons to exempt sales tax for certain customers. And thus you would go to customers and you go edit customer information and you check the box to say this is an exempt customer. You can also give a reason why this is exempt. So to just summarize, there are five significant things to set up sales tax for your Shopify store. Those are tell Shopify where to collect, set up taxable products to collect sales tax, configure shipping options, add the location of the warehouse. Add info for exempt customer. Please let us know if you have any questions regarding the Shopify sales tax setup. 
feel free to leave a comment. We will get back to you with a proper explanation. If this video is helpful to you and your business, then please like, comment and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Till then, take care, stay safe, see you soon.